a simple question. Excuse me, may I ask you a simple question? Do you have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ? It's a simple yes or no answer. Do you have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ? You do not have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. Okay. May I ask you why not? Oh. You do not believe that Jesus Christ actually ever existed? Well, what if I told you there is overwhelming evidence outside the Holy Bible that proves this as fact? Would you then agree to admit that Jesus Christ did exist? You would. Great. Now you're getting somewhere. So if Jesus Christ did actually exist, and we can say with certainty that Jesus Christ was put to death by crucifixion, can we agree that Jesus Christ did live and did die upon the cross? Can we agree with this so far? You would? Great. Thank you. Next. All but two of Jesus Christ's original twelve disciples were martyred, put to death, for their conviction that Jesus Christ is truly the Son of God Almighty, meaning they were literally put to death for their faith in Jesus Christ. Can we agree that most people would not die for a lie? Do you agree? Great, thank you again. After Jesus Christ's crucifixion on the third day, God Almighty raised Jesus alive from the tomb, Jesus' resurrection. Can we agree that many people at that time accepted this as fact? You would? Great, thank you. Now, after Jesus Christ's resurrection, alive from the tomb, can we agree that over 500 people witnessed Jesus Christ alive during the next 40 days, according to the Bible? Well, yes, that's what the Holy Bible states. So, would you agree? You would? Thank you. Okay. So, up to this point, we have agreed that Jesus Christ did live about 2,000 years ago. Jesus Christ is the Son of God Almighty, that he was crucified, that he was risen from the tomb alive on the third day by God Almighty, and was witnessed by many people as being alive up to 40 days after his resurrection and that his disciples were put to death, to their deaths, for their conviction that Jesus Christ is the Son of God Almighty. Would that be correct? Yes? Thank you. Now, can we agree that the Holy Bible states that after the 40 days his disciples witnessed Jesus Christ ascending into heaven alive, on a cloud, according to the Holy Bible. You would? Thank you. So, without admitting anything yourself personally from what we have discussed, Jesus Christ lived about 2,000 years ago. Jesus Christ is the Son of God Almighty, was put to death by crucifixion, was raised alive on the third day, and forty days later ascended alive into heaven. And after this, ten of his original twelve disciples were put to death or martyred for their conviction that Jesus Christ is the Son of God Almighty. Would you agree with this? You would? Good. The Holy Bible states several times, that God Almighty himself, 
called Jesus Christ his beloved Son. And Jesus Christ's disciples also proclaimed that Jesus Christ is the Son of God Almighty. Can we also agree with this? You would? Thank you again. Finally, the Holy Bible also states many, many times that the sole purpose of Jesus Christ's life on this earth was to pay the sin debt for all mankind. Meaning, with his death upon the cross and the shedding of his blood, Jesus Christ paid the price for all of our sin. God Almighty requires a blood sacrifice for the remission or cleansing of sin. And Jesus Christ paid this debt in full, once for all, according to the Holy Bible. Can we agree with this as well? You would? Once again, thank you. Now, I asked you a simple question a few minutes ago. Do you remember what it was? Well, my question was, do you have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ? And your answer was what? That's right. You do not have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. So may I ask you again, why not? Why not? With all the overwhelming evidence which we have just discussed and agreed upon, have you not entered into a personal relationship with Jesus Christ? You do not see yourself as being religious or joining a hypocritical church? Okay. Well, I'm not asking you to get religious or to join a hypocritical church. I'm truly not. I'm simply asking you if you want a personal relationship between Jesus Christ and yourself. That's it. Let me put it another way. God Almighty loves you. And he has been seeking you your entire life. That's right. God Almighty who created you, wants a personal relationship with you. God Almighty created you with a specific plan for your life. Did you know that? Well, he did. So much so that he has pursued after you your whole life. Because he desires a personal relationship with you. That's how much God Almighty loves you. God Almighty created you for a specific purpose. And he desires to show you all his plans for you and how much he loves you. If you will simply let him do so. Will you let him into your life? I'm not talking about joining the church, and I'm not talking about getting religious either. I'm talking about entering into a personal relationship with God Almighty. Would you please at least consider it? He has been waiting for you, and he is still waiting for you right now. In this moment, God Almighty is not looking at your past. God Almighty is looking at your present and what you will decide right here, right now. Will you put him off again? Friend, we are talking about you. Yes, you. Embracing a personal one-to-one -one relationship with God Almighty right here right now this is why you were created this is what this life is all about 
you can have a personal relationship with God Almighty and a personal relationship with Jesus Christ through the Holy Spirit, you can know for certain that should you die today, you will be in God Almighty's immediate presence for eternity, forever. Friend, I'm talk what I'm talking about is acknowledging God Almighty's amazing saving grace and accepting God Almighty's free gift of salvation, which comes only through Jesus Christ. That's right. This is a free gift. So you do not have to get religious or join a church or do lots of good deeds either. God Almighty loves you, and he wants you to be with him forever. The question for you is, do you want to be with him as well? Do you? Awesome. Now, let me show you 